Hello and welcome to the Pecan Planner video tutorial for the Material Editor. Materials help to make objects within our plan more realistic and they create a more lively atmosphere overall. With the Material Editor, you can create custom materials and apply them to your plan. Today we'll learn more about the Material Editor in general and familiarize ourselves with how to assign different materials within our plan. At the end, we'll show you how to create your own material and configure its particular values. For quick and easy access, the Material Editor is housed on the right-hand side of your workplace. Alternatively, you can find the corresponding icon under the Edit tab, along with other features and functions concerning materials. At the top of the window, you'll see the corresponding material tools including the preview window that shows all of the materials that you've created or used in your plan. The bottom section contains the settings for a selected material. By default, the preview window shows both assigned and unassigned materials. Materials that haven't been used will have a broom symbol next to them. The display can be customized using the filter on the toolbar. If necessary, you can click on the broom icon on the toolbar to delete all materials that are not being used within your plan. The Pecan Planner's own catalog already contains a variety of materials for you to choose from. Under the Start tab in the Catalog section, you can click on Materials and you'll be taken directly to the Materials Catalog. Here you can select any material. For this example, we've chosen a hardwood floor. To apply the material to an object, you can drag it via the drag and drop to the desired object within your plan, or you can use the paint bucket to apply the material to a particular object. The selected material should now appear in your Material Editor preview. From there, you can also view the material properties and edit them as desired. For example, you can slightly increase the reflectivity of the material. If you have custom material requirements, you can also create a completely new material. To do so, click on the plus symbol in Toolbar, or simply use the shortcut Ctrl N. Your first steps will be to assign basic settings and name the new material. You also have the choice of a template, which can be used for the basis of your new material. Under Interface, you can select the color for your material and add a custom texture. This will automatically lay texture over the entire surface of the selected object. Using the Placement field, you can adjust the size and rotation of your tiles. You also have the option to add a normal map, which will give a three-dimensional structure to the surface of your material. This is done the same way as adding texture. Under Reflection, you can add gloss and reflectivity, as well as assign a specific color to the reflection. We recommend taking a look at one of the predefined templates to get an idea of appropriate color and reflection settings. For our parquet, a light shade of gray with a slight gloss is suitable. Lastly, you can give your material transparency. That is, if it fits with your material, of course. We can assign the materials to our plan with the help of the paint bucket, and if necessary, render the plan. Try creating materials yourself with the help of Pecan Planner, or take a look at more of our basic tutorials and videos focusing on specific functions and tricks. Have fun planning and experimenting!